the control panel, elevator pulley, copycat blocks, new water wheels, mechanical roller and much more are waiting for you in this video. And this long-awaited update is coming to version 0.5.1. Well, let's get started. Elevator Skiff. Thanks to him, you will be able to make a cat elevator. Very, very simple. You can create an elevator by observing one simple condition. One contact ration must be in the elevator cabin and touch the second one that will be in the elevator. Now we click on the powered pulley and the Rian contact has become the contact of the elevator. By clicking on it, we can configure this floor, choose which doors will open, which floor it is, and come up with a name for it. If we put another one on the floor above, we will have two floors. By the way, there can be as many of them as you want. You can call the elevator outside the cabin by giving a redstone signal to the elevator contact. While the elevator is on the floor, a redstone signal is sent from the contact. The doors attached to the cab open automatically. If you attach the information transmitter to the elevator contact and connect it to an incandescent lamp, it will write on which floor the cabin is located. The control panel has a couple of ways to use it. The first method of application is associated with the elevator pulley. We put the control panel in the cabin and now pointing from it, we can choose which floor to move to. The one we are on will be lit white the others red. The second application is the switching on and off of individual parts of the mechanism. Imagine that we have a farm of wood, wheat and stone. We don't want to cut down the tree, but let the wheat and stone gather. Then, we insert the necessary mechanisms into the control panel and turn on the unnecessary ones. Now, our farm is working the way we need it. New non barite armor, or rather, a diving helmet, tank and boots. They have the same properties as a copper diving suit, only protection from Nazarite armor is added, and the Submariner's helmet gives immunity to clava, provided that a full set is worn. Now we can walk, breathe and see under the lava. Mechanical roller, in motion, he breaks the blocks in front of him and puts them under him. The broken blocks are moved to the storage attached to the structure with a roller. You can choose which block puts the video here, and of course this block should be in the storage. The roller has three modes. In the first, it puts one block below itself. In the second, it fills the pillars to the ground. And in the third, it creates a slide under itself. If there is already a block under the roller, then it will replace it. Copycat blocks. This is a step panel that takes the form of almost any block in Minecraft. It is enough for you to hold any block in your left hand and put one of the imitators. Then the texture of the imitator will correspond to the block that deprived you in your left hand or press the block already on the empty imitator block. So for example, you can create a nice enough trough from a panel and a compost bowl. New water wheels. Now each wheel has a certain speed and voltage. It is no longer possible to accelerate, for example, a small wheel by feeding more water. The big wheel has a speed of 4 revolutions per minute and gives 512 units of energy. The small wheel turns at a speed of 8 revolutions per second and gives only 256 units of energy. By pressing the wheel with boards made of different wood, it will change the texture. Click board or tablet. You can write anything you want in it, as well as tick off which items have already been completed. By holding the shift, it can be hung on the wall. It also has a feature to copy block settings and paste them into others. And if you insert the tablet into the schematic gun, you can get a complete list of blocks that are needed for a particular scheme. Very convenient, isn't it? Andesite block, industrial iron block, and experience block. A block of industrial iron can be used to make edging for gutters. The experience block glows more strongly than the torch. Andesite and copper doors. They have such a beautiful animation of opening and closing. Brass door, very similar to the train door. Brass, andesite and copper bars look very nice. Andesite, brass and copper scaffolding. An analog of bamboo forests from vanilla Minecraft, however, breaking the support block, they remain in the air. And now about the little things, but very interesting little things. Change the texture of many blocks. On the scoreboard, 
the text is updated faster when applying high speed. The valve handle sets the exact rotation angle for mechanical bearings. Ropes from winches can now be climbed. Most items no longer require a wrench. Now chests and barrels can be opened on mechanisms in motion, even on trains. Just cheers. But it doesn't work with ender chests. The pumps no longer change direction when the direction of rotation changes. Now support will appear above the conveyor belt if there is a block there. Several pulleys and winches that are not connected to a power source can be connected to the same platform as decorative ones. Many switches have made new menus. Boilers now indicate the water consumption and what water consumption is needed if there is not enough. And that's it for me. A very cool update, I think it turned out. Put a like and subscribe if you liked it, don't forget to hide the bell. Thank you all for watching, bye bye to everyone.